that's great. So could you, would you be able to share your personal protocol? Because uh, you look very healthy and look like you're Thank doing you. well. Um, so w- what's your kind of protocol uh, in terms of exercise or diet? Yeah, so uh, what I do is mostly uh, stuff people should not do. So um, oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't exercise enough. Um, my diet is reasonable. I don't eat all that much. Um, uh, I don't eat lunch, for example. I, mm-hmm. I have a small amount of uh, food in the in the morning because I take a whole bunch of pills in the morning, and I don't want them to burn a hole in my stomach. So. Uh, I, uh, mm. I, I like to have a little buffering in there, but then I don't eat lunch. I, I eat dinner and that's about it. Uh, I, I'm not a teetotaler. I do drink. Uh, mild amounts of alcohol are actually good for you. They extend your lifespan. I probably overdo that a bit, but uh, you know, I have to enjoy life a little bit as well. Um, you know, exercise, you should exercise regularly. Um, since COVID hit, I don't think I've been to the gym in a year and a half or something like that. It's ridiculous, um, but uh, but I do push-ups every every once in a while, and I, I seem to be able to maintain my training effect pretty well even without exercising. Uh, that may be because I just uh, you know I didn't exactly discover, but I um, well let's roll of this back, went back a little bit. So I take a lot of um, carnosine. I actually have a patent on taking carnosine, but uh, I take a bunch of carnosine. Because uh, if you uh, watch cells reach their hay flick limit in a dish uh, and undergo senescence in culture, which is where the original concept of senescent cells came from, dating all the way back to Leonard Hayflick, uh, if you put carnosine in the medium, it reverses that. It reverses the hay flick limit. The cells go from these ugly, horrible, swollen looking things to something that looks pretty normal, at least for a while. And so I hypothesize that if you could do the same thing for senescent satellite cells and muscles, then maybe your muscles wouldn't age. So I, I've been taking carnosine for a long time and uh, my, I do not seem to be getting weaker over time. Um, so that may be a good sign. Hmm. Uh, also, of course, I've, I've taken my own treatment a number of times and uh, um, you know, I'm actually enrolled in my own uh, trial Trimex and after I'd been in Trimex for a little while, I was able to do 90 push-ups, you know, and the most I was ever, ever able to do in youth was about 73. So um, I seem to be main, maintaining my muscle function pretty well. So, uh, you know, I, I take a bunch of uh, pills. I, I have been taking a nicotinamide riboside and NAD uh, and centrophenoxine and Depernil and uh, life extension mix and uh, carnosine and uh, coenzyme Q10 and what else? Uh, a variety of things like that. Uh, selenium occasionally to prevent cancer. Um, uh, a lot of normal things. I take fish oil. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, I think if you just maintain a healthy lifestyle, uh, I should sleep more than I do. I should sleep more than I do. I like to sleep. Sleep is good for you, but I've been working pretty hard. Uh, but, you know, you do the best you can. Right. So, uh, I'm not really a paragon of virtue in terms of, you know, being a fanatic about health and all of this stuff. I just actually don't have time for it. So I just try to do, I just try to avoid doing things that are particularly stupid. And I think mm. if you do that, you know, you might be able to do okay. Right. So that, kind of seeing that, that that's very interesting. So yeah. just on, so I guess on the diet, very briefly, do you have a uh, kind of macronutrient mix that you aim for? Are you keto so, or... Yeah, so I, I was persuaded for a while by uh, uh, somebody I met uh, as a result of my efforts in aging uh, to try uh, going vegetarian for a while, and that seemed to be working pretty well. And then I've heard of this uh, book that's come out recently called uh, The Carnivore Code, I think it is. Mm. And this guy points out that uh, the, the job of the plant is to try to kill you because uh, if, if you eat the plant, that's not good for the plant. So the plant has collaborate various defense mechanisms and that can be a problem uh so maybe meat is not all bad um but i do think that uh, red meat is not that great for you apparently you know people have said that red meat is particularly bad for you which is unfortunately because i absolutely love red meat but i don't eat much of it (laughs) Mm -hmm. every once in a while i will and then i uh, allow some time for the effects to wear off before i have any more uh so there are 
you know, there's, there's some trade-offs, you know, so uh, I like hamburgers, but uh, since I can't eat those uh, as often as I would like, I eat things called impossible burgers. Mm -hmm. But what is an impossible burger? An impossible burger is a totally artificial, synthetic sort of plant substance thing. And everybody says, don't eat processed food. So, you know, you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? So I, I don't worry about it all that much. Um, right. Right now, I'm kind of semi-vegetarian and semi-non-vegetarian. I, you know, I eat chicken and fish a lot. I think mm. fish is pretty good for you. Mm. Uh, I used to work with a guy uh, back in uh, in Maryland on the other side of the country uh, when when I was doing my first uh, self experiment in thymus regeneration. I was my own patient zero for thymus regeneration. I actually published my own thymus regeneration in what is now called Rejuvenation Research and used to be called Journal of Anti Aging Medicine. The guy I work with said that uh, anything that lives on the land is not necessarily good for you, you know, but things that live in the ocean tend to be good for you. So, so I like mm -hmm. fish. I like salmon. Salmon is great, but mm -hmm. other oily fish, uh, mahi mahi and, and, and deep water cod and things like that are all good for you too. So Mediterranean diet, you know, pretty mm -hmm. good for you. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So, uh, Dr. Faye, thank you so much. Uh, you've You're been very, welcome, gen sir. very generous with your time today. Um, and it was excellent to catch up and talk about uh, Trim and Trim X. That, uh, I mean, and there's so much uh, other things that it would be great to talk about. And also just to get updates, I mean, on, on how Trim is going and, and w whether you move forward with E5, that would be very interesting. So yeah. I hope that we get an opportunity to uh, talk again in the future. By all means, feel free. Okay. Be happy so, to talk to you again. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dr. Faye, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you and be well. Yeah, Take you care. too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.